vintage 90s image to be enlarged to A3 from A4 and then given some more special effects. Okay, time to position. Alright, time for the setup procedure. Got to go back to basics. One of the easy things that most people are familiar with is this feature. Enlargement. This is just a fixed ratio. Very quick and easy. Right, so now we're going to get into the more heavier stuff. So now we've got to apply some SFX background colour. And what colour will we choose? I think what would be a nice colour would be one. It's always a tough one. <laughs> Cyan, yellow, um, blue. I think I'll go blue. Okay, I'll try the first output and see what happens. Okay. Silly flashing light stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Got a laugh. There's our first output. Woohoo! Amazing. Great, great start. Time to mode memory at this so we don't lose it. There's nothing worse than losing. Yes. I'm just thinking which one I should use. Okay, actually, I won't use that one. I'll just use. Okay, we're going to hit this into mode memory straight away, so I decide to just use this and just take out this profile. Good to save this on a card or something, so you can, yes, but that's just the way copy of design is, unfortunately. So we register the program, we'll just call it CW, CW, that's it. But we can always improve on quality here at the moment. This is just the first output, so there's always more room for improvement. But we might just try a different colour just to be interesting. So there's heaps of different colours here. Um, just, just to show you the different possibilities that this thing can do. So I'm just wondering if I could also tinker with the colour balance a bit. Um, yellow could go up a bit, magenta, whoa, for some reason we've whammed up the cyan, well we'll leave it like that, it's nice to have a bit of, yep, and the black, maybe one more bang, and I think maybe, we'll call that an okay for now run this one off. Unfortunately this is not the easiest art form to get familiar with but you know this is if you can do Photoshop and other computer programs this shouldn't be too much difficulty and here's a different result it's really nice it's even nicer. Okay we're gonna wham it into remote memory so we'll just find another another empty one that we don't need no more. We'll just use that one and we'll just delete it. I know this is boring to those who are not technical, but this is just like anything. You've got to, to do this well, you've got to be a little bit eh, technical. Just put CW2. Got it. Okay, a recap. This is the original 
from the 90s. And here are the two reprocessed prints. Here's the first one. Looks really nice. But my opinion is the second one looks nicer, but then it's more heavier. You know, you can really make different adjustments. It's wonderful. But anyway, another thing to note is to prevent fading if you want to display these on your walls. Ask your local art supply shop about anti-fade spray.